Hello, 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 Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today we are dun, 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 making this beautiful, beautiful rainbow tumbler. Um, I'll have all of the things down below in the description box where the folk art um, paints and epoxy and all of that you can find below but we are going to make this today so cute so before we do that please like subscribe hit the bell um, so that you can get notifications for when new videos come out and just know when you click on links in the description box i am an amazon affiliate so i get pennies on the dollar so when you pennies on the dollar can't speak today when you guys click on those links which is truly appreciated. And now that I've said all of that, let's get started. Let's get started. All right, so this video is gonna be super quick. As you can see, I have mixed some Amazing Clear Cast Epoxy. I mixed about 80 milliliters, which is 40 of each side. And now I'm just adding a couple of drops of paint because that's all you really need of the folk art paint. So I'm dropping that in there. I used a glitter one for the end and that turned more like a gluey paste. So I wouldn't recommend putting the glitter folk art paint into the epoxy. At least that one didn't work well for me, but the rest of them did. And like I said, you saw how beautiful the cup was. So I mixed those and then I left some clear in that clear cup over in the corner. Um, which I'm going to use to add to the tumbler, as you will see here in a second. So I added a nice coat of epoxy to the tumbler and then start adding the colors in the rainbow order, with the exception of the purple, because I didn't have any purple here. But as you can see, I made a mess. So if you're doing this and you're a little messy like me, you just want to take that into account. And even with not being perfectly lined, I just love the way that it turned out. So um, just add those colors in and then I repeated the colors as necessary. That is pretty much the process. It sat for um, about 14 hours until it was dry and that was it. So I'll either put a decal or something on it um, to add to it or maybe just leave it the way that it is. As always, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate you. Leave your comments below and I will see you all the next time. Thank you for watching.